All right, so this week we're kicking off a series that we're calling The Wonders of Wolf Street. Uh, Wolf Street, there's a lot of really interesting, eclectic businesses along this stretch, and today we're going to take you inside the William Mason II Violin Shop. So we're here with Bill Mason, the owner of the William Mason II Violin Shop here at 509 Jackson Street near the corner of Wolf Street uh, in, the, in the Farmer's Creamery building. And um, Bill recently celebrated his uh, 10th anniversary here in this building and running this, this shop. And um, Bill, why don't you tell us a little bit about what uh, people will find here at your, at your violin shop? Sure. Well, we're a full service violin shop, uh, meaning we do everything violin related. And I, when I say violin, I want to make sure that you know that violins, violas, and cellos are included in that that we rent them, restore them, repair them. We re, uh, rehair bows and restore bows. Uh, we have lessons here. And everything related to, to the violin world. We make our own varnish here. All right, this cabinet here hosts all my resins, okay? And resin is what comes out of a tree, as you know. This is pine resin right here, or colophony. And this is what we make varnish out of. I have different resins from all over the world. Uh, this is mastic tear resin uh, from Greece. I have Damar resin, Kapow resin. We have a lot of bug carcasses here. This is seed lac from the, the lac bug. Here we have some old varnish recipes, by the way. This is, a seven, this is a 1704 recipe from Cremona, Italy, like we were talking about. And everything has to be documented very well. Every, chemical, every resin that's in here is written on the top. And so one of the things that a lot of people, when they open the cabinet, they see Joe's poop and pee. This is horse urine and horse manure. Okay, so if you um, buy one of our violins, you will have a little bit of this on it. When, when we make a violin, the wood is very white. Okay, and we put this on the wood when it's still in the white, and it gives it a hue. it's a ground. It gives it like a yellow, dark, stain or a base to start on when you come back with your varnish on top of that. So you, it kind of gives you a big jump start. Okay? And we know that they did use this in Cremona, Italy uh, from some of the old books that we have today. So it's... Well, great. Well, how did you end up here in, uh, in Fredericksburg at this shop? Well, I grew up in King George, so I've been coming into Fredericksburg all of my life. Um, I knew that this would be the place to put a violin shop since everybody, for years, everybody was going to Richmond and to D.C. area uh, to purchase violins, and I knew this would just be the perfect place for it. Yeah. Cut, every, cut everything right in half. Yeah. So. Well, it's really impressive what you'll find here. They've got a full uh, shop where they're uh, making the, the violins and a place to perform and, uh, and all their inventory of, uh, of violins that you can rent, violas that you can rent. Great option for, uh, for, for students and for, I guess, budding um, violin and, and, and up to all the way up to professional players. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. And we give a lot of tours to schools, local schools. They, they come in. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what, what type of hours do you keep here? <laughs> One to six. Well, it's really, it's a, it's a beautiful shop and we've enjoyed uh, touring through it. And uh, I think a lot of people may not necessarily know the gem that, uh, that we have here. Um, on the Wolf and Jackson Street corridors. Uh, so, so come check it out, come take a tour. Congratulations on what you've built here and um, uh, thanks for, for offering us a, a glimpse inside it today. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so that's it for this week's episode. Thanks to the Masons for showing us their beautiful shop. Uh, next week, we're gonna continue our uh, Wonders of Wolf Street series by profiling Wegner Metal Arts at 520 Wolf Street. So be sure to tune in then and we'll see you. Thanks for watching.